What's going on guys, man? It's Pryoxys and I'm back with another video. And in this one here, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Kelvin Gastelum, man. So we're going to run through his stats real quick before we jump into this match. And obviously our opponent is going to be using Robert Whitaker like everybody and their grandma. This was originally going to be a Robert Whitaker video, but I, I just knew the second I got in a ranked match, I would be going against a Robert Whitaker. And I don't want to do a mirror match, really. So you guys see his perks. He has higher altitude, recharge, laser focus, fast hands, and bulldog. Now his stand-up, he has a great speed, decent power, right? Now... Uh, everything else is fine as well. Obviously, the switch dance is garbage, and we're not going to be kicking with Kelvin. But the most important thing is uh, his shin isn't bad. His recovery as well is, is very well. You know, boxing combinations level four, snap jab, lead hook. So basically, with Kelvin Gastelum, like I say with any other boxer, just basic boxing. Um, also, before we jump into this match, guys, don't forget to hit the like button for your boy, man. Also... Subscribe to the channel if y'all are new and turn on the notifications and look what time it is out of respect guys Look, it is 521 bro. I couldn't go to sleep. So I'm up recording this for y'all man 521 in the morning, bro Here we go. So the fight starts out and what I have to worry about obviously is um Robert Whitaker's speed in particular um, He's very fast. So I want to watch out for that. And he's coming forward. And he's through a jab Okay, now you guys look at this block his block is low not really sure why he has low block but um Okay, and I just want to pay attention to what he's doing. I like to make reads. I don't like to jump into these fights and get the throwing off combinations. Now, will I do it sometimes in ranked? Of course I will. But for the most part, if I'm trying to, you know, have an educational video like this, how to use a fighter like Kelvin Gastelum, um, I try to play slow, you know, try to play off of what my opponent is giving me and look at certain cues as far as blocking, you know, his strikes, how many he throws, um, the strikes that he throws first as well. And mostly he's starting off with jabs. He's throwing that that um, that rear uh, low kick, but not nothing for me to really worry about. There he goes, right there. Rear low kick. I checked that one. That was a nice uppercut. Boom! Went to the body. It was nice. Okay, so right now I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel like I can land on him right now. And I checked. That's another kick I checked. Right. I've checked two kicks now. So, um. I know I'm playing a bit defensive and this may be frustrating, but I, I don't have I don't know what I what this guy wants to do. I really don't. I feel like he's gonna throw a high kick now because I've checked some kicks. Nice, he kicks my leg. But I don't feel like I can land anything. And if I don't feel like I can do that, I'm gonna throw, you know, my slower I mean my fastest strikes, you know, lead low kicks, uh maybe even my jab. For right now. Alright, jab cross to the body. Okay, boom, I threw the low kick. I miss it. And this is, you know, a very slow paced fight. Nothing, nothing too much is going on. I'm not taking a lot of damage. I've actually done some a quite decent amount of damage to his uh his rear leg. Okay. Jab, 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 and then I want to throw the low kick here. Nope. Okay. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Right. That opportunity, that small opportunity we was able to get in us, a four-piece. He threw a kick in the pocket, and he threw a moving forward, which resulted to him throwing it extremely slow. Okay? Jab cross. Jab cross to the body. Okay? Nice. He breaks my block. I'm going to back up. Okay? So my block is broken. And keep in mind, guys, when you're playing someone, right? Nice check. That was stupid of me to do. That was extremely stupid. I came forward. Very telegraphed strike. And uh, he punished me for it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, something you guys want to do in the future, and, and me as well, I did it right there. What's bad was not trade in the pocket versus people. Um, like, or not trade necessarily, but if you lose a trade, look at your head health. Obviously, if you completely lost that trade, your opponent's going to have way more head health than you, right? So. You want to reset. You don't want to continue to trade. You want to reset, you know, get your head health back, and then trade. And if you do want to land a strike on him in the pocket, look to counter. Move your head and counter versus trying to actually trade. All right, so I'm doing these low kick feints. He has checked a couple, I believe one or two. So I'm trying to see what exactly is... Uh, they got a nice one too. Then we can go to the low kick. 
I like to, and how I set up my strikes, I love to land something significant, right? And then I will go, uh, I will mix up with going uh, changing levels. Boom, I land across there, land another cross. Now I feel like I can throw a lead kick there. Boom, we rock him here. Now I'm investing to the legs. Cross, jab, cross, leg. Jab, cross, okay, nope. Okay, we're gonna back up here, reset. I'm not going to go too crazy. I don't want to trade with uh, Robert Whitaker. I want to take, you know, my best case scenarios here. All right. So, boom, we get out of the pocket. And he's pressing a little bit. You guys see his block is going low as well. So, I'm throwing these feints. Just get him thinking about some stuff. Then throw an overhand here. Just to try to just to try to try see if I can catch him. Nice. Try to try to see if I can catch him. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay, nice. You know, just try to see if I can catch him, you know, blocking low randomly. Boom. Okay. Boom. We catch him there. Nice. 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 Oh. Okay. Don't panic. Continue to try to um you know keep my distance. Obviously you got you see this guy is starting to fight a bit more aggressive. But we're going to continue to stay calm. You guys see this here. You guys see he's my block is getting killed, but I'm trying to stay conservative and stay calm. You know, fighting Robert Whitaker can be extremely frustrating, can be extremely annoying. Um, because how how fast and how powerful Robert Whitaker is. Uh, but trying to stay calm. Okay, nice. One, two, three. And what I like what I like to do is um People that want to run, come forward with strikes. I like to throw my cross. That was a nice slip. I like to throw my cross, right? And uh, followed by a lead uppercut or a lead hook. Because it is a very, um, oh my goodness. Okay. And you guys see, man, this is, it's, it's annoying. Look at the tracking, too. That strike's landing on me. Oh, slip hook. Okay. High kick, then land. Boom, boom. Yep. You know, pr pretty, pretty Robert Whitaker like. You know, I, I, I personally thoroughly hate fighting Robert Whitaker due to how, how annoying he can be to fight. You know, he threw 120 strikes. He landed 46. Um, I threw 29. I mean, I threw 72 and landed 29. But, you know, fighting Robert Whitaker can be extremely annoying, annoying man. Do how powerful he can be. And he, and now, at this, what he's doing, um, what he's done is... All right, there we go. Boom, we knock him down. What he's doing, um, I'm going to the head with these strikes and then a punch at the end. <clears throat> he's slip hooking a lot, so I'm going to be looking to land that lead, uh, that lead... Lead hook on him. Faint. Boom. We catch him right there. Body, body, body. Boom, boom. Okay. Boom. Lead hook. You got to see my head health isn't looking great. Boom. We catch him with a four piece there. And I tried to go, I tried to go a little crazy there because I got a nice rock and I hit some punches on his block right afterwards. Didn't work out in my favor. So it's all good. Boom. Okay. And you guys see he's trying to slip. Slip with the cross. Okay. Nice. I'm not really sure where his stamina is sitting at. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Give me that. Uh-huh. I will finish this fight. I don't want to fight Robert Whitaker. I will finish this fight. There we go. That's it. That's it. Got him. 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 Okay, man, fighting Robert Whitaker can be a complete task at, in its own right, man. Fighting Robert Whitaker is so tough, man. Like, it takes it takes a mental to fight Robert Whitaker. Like, like fighting Max Holloway, it takes a strong mental to fight this man, man, because he's so powerful. But, hey, we got the finish here, man. Nice, nice win we got. Um, <clears throat> if you did enjoy this fight, guys. Again, be sure to hit the like button and uh, subscribe up if you guys are new. And don't forget to turn on those notifications, guys.
I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm kind of tired. Like I said, it's 529 now, man. Your boy's tired. But I'll be back with another fight, guys. All right, before I jump into this fight, guys, I want to show you that this ping is kind of high. Not to make an excuse for myself. If I win, I win. I lose, I lose. But again, it's kind of hard to find matches. And on top of that, with the, uh, you know, with the searching of weight classes, it's extremely difficult. But it's all good, man. We're going to go into this fight. We're going against the Spider Silva. So in this matchup here, we obviously know Anderson Silva has the advantage as far as kickboxing, right? But when it comes to boxing, I have an extreme advantage. On top of that, Anderson Silva is, is kind of on the slower end due to his reach being extremely long. So I'm going to look to pressure Anderson Silva, but I do have to watch out for his knees. But I'm, overall, I'm, I'm just going to look to pressure him. Um, I know he has weak leg health, but I'm not really going to be focusing on his legs, man. Okay, body shot. And I'm, I'm going to really, my main strikes that I'm going to throw is going to be my lead hooks up top, right? And my lead hooks to the body, you know, and my jab. And I'm just going to keep it clean and, you know, try to pay attention to what he's doing. The fight has started. He's throwing a couple double jabs. He's throwing a jab and then across to the body, I believe, right? And we want to look at his block. Nice low kick there. We do a jab. Nice. Okay. I tried to, I tried to slip cross there, trying to predict when he was going to throw a jab. Nice front kick. Boom. Go to the body. Go to the body again, but I missed that one. Boom, we slip his jab, block his cross. Nice, jump and switch kick to the, I mean, not switch kick. I'm not sure what that kick exactly is called. Okay. And I wanna pressure, but you guys know, man, I don't, I don't like to pressure and break people block. Boom, let's go back. No, he's on the cage. Hook up top, lead hook down low. He throws a spinning elbow. Okay, and you guys, you guys see how I'm pressuring him into throwing all these wild strikes. I'm not, I'm not going crazy, you know, with the with the strikes. I'm just, I'm just, you know, walking them down essentially, just not giving them space, you know. See, he throws a flying knee, and you guys see, it, it, I'm not fighting anyone. Farting, farting kick is a legend when it comes to this game, man. Uh, he's been around for a long time. I know him from since UFC two. I know he's probably been playing since EA Sports UFC, the first one. So, I know he's a legend. And right now, he's just doing these, like, oblique kicks. And uh, I need to I need to watch out for him. You guys see he's chopping my leg now. So, I'm going to check a couple kicks. Um, and, oh, nice high kick. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Flying knee. He throws a knee. Jab cross, there goes a flying knee right there. Nope. There goes the knee, elbow. And I, I assume he wants to opt into that that flying knee style. Okay, yeah. I mean that that knee elbow type of style. I thoroughly hate, but yep, yeah, knee. Okay. So he's chopping my leg. I'm gonna switch stances. I'm still confident in my in my opposite stance, but I just don't want to get my leg chewed up. Um, okay. Nice. And I'm fine with fighting in the pocket. Only only thing I'm worried about is because uh, I don't know if this happens to you guys often, but you'll throw an uppercut versus someone trying to throw a knee, right? Body, body, body. You throw, you throw an uppercut versus someone trying to throw a knee, and your uppercut will like completely whiff, and their knee will land. But he rocks me here in the first round, so I, I kind of had a general idea of what he was trying to do early in the round. But then he kind of turned into the clinch, the clinching knee elbow type of guy. So I don't really know what he's gonna do. Oh, there goes the knee. Uh, the knee. I checked that kick. Lee hook landed. Faint, okay. Faint, faint. Cross to the body. Nice. He threw a rear kick to the body, landed clean. Okay. He's probably gonna throw a front kick soon. I can see. I can see the front kick coming. He throws a oblique. Okay. Or maybe a flying knee is coming. Okay. <laughs> Overhand. Okay. And again, I don't really, I, I don't know what he's gonna throw. One, two, landing clean. 
And the front kick is coming, guys. I'm telling you, I'm gonna slip the front kick and throw a rear, uh, a rear, um, rear hand. The rear hook. Okay. Faint. Nice cross. Nope. And I threw that hook right afterward because I knew he would throw, um, <clears throat> he would try to throw a knee. Nice. The overhand again. Okay. And you know, people like this, you kind of got to be careful. You can't really move your head too much or really move your head in a predictable way because I don't know what he's going to throw. You know, he's been throwing some wild stuff. So just trying to be more so careful than I'm being, you know, trying to be finesse and move my head. Nice. He kicks my leg and he throws an oblique. Then he kicks my leg again. One, two. All right. Okay. Yep, that sounds about right. I'm right, switch back stance. Okay. Lee hit to the body. Nope. Nice. 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 And this would be much easier if I was using somebody that could kick. But unfortunately, Kevin Gaslin isn't a kicker. Body. 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 Faint. Nope. I checked that kick. Boop. Okay. Flying knee. Go to the body. Go to the body. Cross. Lead up. Cut. Cross. Lead hook. Landy clean. Where's that front kick? Yeah. He's just trying to oblique me to death. Okay. Still, You still can't box with me. No matter what stance I'm in, Silva's not going to be able to box with Kelvin Gasol. We rock him here. Right now, I'm looking for the flying knee. I'm really looking for that flying knee. Nice body shot. Okay. Okay. Round two is over. Uh, again, our, our lead leg is kind of chopped. We did rock him some. Uh, didn't do too much damage this round. But again, I don't, I don't know what he's gonna throw. I do know he's throwing obliques, but there's not really a, a super true type of punishment for that type of kick. Also, I do know, I do know that, you know, he's been throwing that rear kick, and I've been checking it. There goes a punishment there, but I feel like sometimes it's inconsistent with those punishments, you know, he, he does throw the oblique, and, uh, okay, let me switch stances, flying knee, nope. Boop, 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 boop. Rock him here. Body, body, body. Okay. Nah. Okay. Okay. That's what I was talking about. See how I threw the uppercut? Oh, yeah. Come here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come here. Come here. Yep. Good night. You guys see how I threw the uppercut there? And, and it, just, it just went away. It just vanished into thin air and his knee landed it's kind of weird but uh he threw a flying knee rocked him knocked him down went to the ground and pound finish not even going i'm not even going to you know i usually be letting people back up and you know try to prolong the fight but i'm not even going to do it with this silver man uh good fights to him all respects to farkin kick for being a legend in the game man but hey with that being said guys we're going to go ahead and jump into the next fight all right be right back all right here we go um the third fight this will probably be the last one what's weird with this guy was on michael bisping he was on Michael Bisping, and the second I switched to Kelvin Gastelum, he switched to Robert Whitaker, man. So unfortunate. I can never get some some proper some proper opponents, man. I always get these guys using these people, but well, in ranked and quick match, you guys see I get get some differences. But hey, here we go, man. Fight starts off. He starts off with a low kick, and then he throws two lead hooks and then a jab cross, right? So if someone throwing strikes like that, obviously I don't know what exactly he's gonna throw. He tried to clinch me there. Now, let's look at his defense. His block is high, block high, block high. Let's see if he drops it low at all. Let's faint, let's faint low and see. Okay. Now it looks like he's too focused on offense to even think about defense, which actually. Okay. You see that there? He's he's very focused on offense versus his defense. He's he's just holding the right trigger. He's not really, I don't 
feel this guy's really thinking about defense. He's just holding the right trigger. We hit him with the jab cross lead hook. Faint, faint, faint low. Okay. Faint. And if I was someone that was like more so kickboxing, uh, you know, kickboxing predominant, I would be throwing kicks to his body. But Kelvin Gaston doesn't have the best um, roundhouses to the body animation. Jab cross, jab. And that's, like I said, that's one of my favorite combinations. It's very quick, very effective. You can use it to set up other things. Just a simple jab, jab, cross to the jab up top, cross to the body. Nice. Boom, boom, lead body hook, rear body hook. Faint, nice low kick. Faint, faint, cross, lead hook to the body. Jab, rear uppercut to the body. And I'm just touching them. You see, I'm just touching the body, man. And again, this is a five round fight, so I don't really have to, you know, nice, get out the way there. I don't have to, you know, rush a finish or rush trying to hit his body. Um, so this, one, this is another one of those opponents. Not really sure what, he's, what exactly he's going to throw. He, he is throwing a one-two. He throws a lead body hook there. So one-two, lead body hook, right? Lead hook, cross, jab. I hit him with the jab, faint. Slip body cross and body hook. Now we're back up, okay. Boom, we get out of the way. And you guys see how... how aggressive he is with his offense he's very aggressive with his offense man and don't get me wrong there's guys listen listen i don't want i don't want to misjudge or, or mislead anyone out there thinking if you play exactly like me you're going to beat everyone with kelvin gaslam or with whoever you use i teach you how to use there's a style and there's meta in the game there's some guys that just straight up beat me due to them you know being more so a meta type of player but i like to teach people how to play this game sim it's more entertaining and more fun to play this game at a sim level versus it is just just trying so hard to play meta you know but i'm not i'm not gonna knock anybody for playing meta but me personally i love to play sim i like that slow style i like to land a strike because i set you up to land that strike you know what i mean i like to get a knockout because i set you up and i landed that knockout punch not i didn't not not the Oh, I broke your block and now my punch is free. You know, I like to make you block low. I made you block low. You know what I mean? I didn't break your block. Your block, your block went low and I went high because I mixed you up. That's that's my style personally. All right, just had to get that across to you guys. Anyone that if, if you even made it this far into the video, but here we go, man. Round two, touch him up. I did a little damage to his body. Um, I didn't take too much damage. My stamina's looking good. Jab cross to the body. Jab cross to the body. Three lunges. Just trying to just trying to get out the way, man. I've been trying to experience more with lunging more. Especially, you know, against aggressive opponents. Trying to use my lunges, man, to get out the way. Jab cross. Okay. And if you can land, if he's letting me land the jab and then across to the body, you know, I can I can boom. Jab lead hook to the body. Do a little bit more damage, right? A little bit more damage. And then not too much risk because he's boom boom. We catch him with a two piece. And he try to go to my body. Boom. We catch him with the rock. Then we hit him with the body. Then we're gonna throw two body knees and then a body punch at the end. Boom. And then body, body, body. Drop him down. Okay. Jab cross. And uh, what he what I did there was I, when someone throws a three punch combination, if they throw a jab cross followed by a rear hook, you can or a lead hook. I'm sorry. You can pull back, like so pull back on that strike, and then you can land your rear uppercut. And you can combo it into other strikes as well. I'll try to do it to, to him again. I like to personally I like to combo it into a uh you know rear uppercut and then a lead hook and then followed by a cross. But I I'm not sure if he's gonna give me that opportunity to to do that. Boom, boom, boom. Right, knock him down there. Go to the body. Faint to the body. Jab. Faint. Okay. Faint. Faint. Cross to the body. Lead up a cut. I mean, lead hook. It landed. Right. Cross to the body. Okay. Oh yeah. Go to the body. Up top. Body. Body. You see, I'm just mixing up my strikes. There we go. Knock him down again. OK. 
Okay. Overhand. Nope. Just try to throw something wild. Because I'm kind of... Oh, my goodness. You got to see, he, it's round two and he's already gassed due to the body work, man. He was throwing wild on top of that. The body work. Back to the body. And I'm not going to rush a finish. You know, I, I literally have three more rounds to finish this guy. Overhand, knock him down. Get him thinking that I was going to go low. That shouldn't even land it, but I'll take it. Jab, jab. Let's try to knock him out before this round ends. <laughs> now, right there, what happened was I didn't try to break his block necessarily. I just threw a four-punch four combination. It isn't like I walked down on him, jab, jab, jab. I threw a four-punch combination. He was blocking. Now, his block didn't get broken, but it wasn't my intent to break his block. I just threw a four-piece, man. Just, just so nobody gets that confused, like, bro, but you just walked up and threw a block breaking combination. No, I threw a four punch combination. Block breaking is one of, you know, obviously block breaking is block breaking, but most people abuse it because they walk forward with a jab. And, you know, the jab does about half of the block damage and then they throw another jab and then the block is essentially gone. You know, and I believe it's one more jab after that. And then they'll commit to block one like this, the shield block, right? But, hey. Um, got the finish here right at the end of the round. It was one second left. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one here as much as I did. You learned something from it using Kevin Gaslam. Uh, also, hopefully I see more Kevin Gaslam is in ranked. Highly underrated. Shouts out to Zayaf. That man is a demon on Kevin Gaslam, bro. If y'all ain't never seen him use him, go check out his channel and just ask him to use Kevin Gaslam. His Kelvin Gaslam is disgusting. But hey, with that being said, guys, I'm going to head out. If you haven't yet... Before you leave, be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, man, and don't forget to leave a like on the video. All right, guys? Peace out. Love.